Hey, what's going on? I'm Ty the Dog Guy. You are a dog owner somewhere in the YouTube universe, and I'm glad you're here. And this is Chocolate Chip. This is my dog here. She's just here for the eye candy because she's more good looking than I am. Um, if you are watching this video on YouTube, there is a decent chance that you have not seen the rest of our videos. This is part of a free 10 video training course on how to solve some of the biggest issues you might be dealing with with your dog. So if you haven't seen the rest of them, down below this video in the description, there's a link. You can click the link. It'll take you to a page where you can sign up and get all of these videos for free. Make sure you do that. Today, we're talking about treat training for dogs. A lot of people are tricked, sorry, tricked into using treat training and clicker training. Now, there's a difference. Let me, let me qualify this because using food as a resource is a great way to train your dog. Using treats as an additional bonus is a big, big problem. And you might have a big problem coming down uh, the way at you and you didn't even know it. So if you are doing treat training right now or you're considering what's the best way to train my dog or whatever the case might be, you're gonna wanna make sure you watch this video so you can avoid this big pit. All right guys, today we're gonna talk about um, the difference between treats and food. Treats and food. Now, um, in other videos and other you know parts of this training series, we've talked about how um, you know, we want the dog to realize, well, there's, there's two parts. You teach the dog and then you proof the training. Teaching the dog, you still have to be obedient even around distractions. And so, um, the problem that a lot of trainers have when they're just using treats is the dog, you know, number one, oftentimes the dogs don't care about it because they've got their food at home and they're doing fine. If they get extra treats, they love it. If they don't get them, they're not, it's not the end of the world. And so, treats are a problem there. Now using food as a resource becomes different. So we call it the work for food program. Usually during the first month of our program, we take the dog's food, you just his regular kibble, goes in a pocket, goes in a treat pouch. Um, and what we do is as the dog is working throughout the day, that's the food that he gets. What this does, and I'm gonna show you here in a second, what this does is it starts changing the dog's relationship, not only with food, but with you. Um, because oftentimes the food sits there in a dish, the dog doesn't have to think about it, he just gets all the food that he needs. He has, it doesn't even attach it to you being the one that's giving it. Whereas suddenly there's no more food in the dish and now the food he's getting is coming because he sat or he lied down or he waited at the door or he came when called. And in doing all of these things and getting you know the food as a resource rather than as a treat, it's way different for the dog. Now he's working for his food just like you do every day you go to work because you need food. Um, and it, and it builds work ethic for you and builds work ethic for the dog, you know, when you have to work for your food. So all you gotta do, come on buddy, is, you know, for example, down, down, good boy. So throughout the day as we're working, you know, if I have him down, for example, down, down, good boy. Any command that I have him do, I've got food on the ready, um, and it's super simple, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, it's a, like I say, pocket or a treat pouch or something like that. So he's getting kind of paid throughout the day. Like I say, this changes entirely the dog's relationship with you and he sees you more in this leadership role of you're the nice guy that gives food for work. Um, but like I say, it starts getting the dog to attach his work ethic to you and it starts building focus. Treats don't do a good job of building focus on you they do a good job of building focus on a treat. Whereas this type of training builds focus on you because now you're the giver of a resource rather than an added tip. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, but stick around for a second, I'm gonna share with you something else that's gonna be super valuable. Hey guys, wanna do a quick cutaway. Because um, after I watched this training video, I realized that I might not have done it justice in explaining how different it is to do treat training, you know, clickers, treats, versus like this work for food program. There's such a big difference in the level of, of buy-in that your dog gives you. The buy-in, the engagement, the dog saying, yes, I will pay attention to you. If you've ever done a lot of treat training, you find out pretty darn quick that the dog is like, all right, cool. Um, I like doing this for a treat because I like treats, um, but I'm paying attention to the treat. I'm not necessarily paying attention to you, Mr. or Mrs. Dog Owner. I'm just paying attention because there's a treat in your hand. And that's a big deal when you don't have the treat in your hand. Now, when you're doing the work for food program, that's one of the biggest differences I see is we get engagement to the owner. 
And so now the dog is really focusing in on the owner and <coughs> giving the owner attention rather than just the treat in their hands. So just wanted a quick breakaway to really encourage you to, to, to do this work for food program at least for you know a month or two to really get your dog engaging with you. All right, guys, I showed you real quick how to do the work for food program. And it's really simple. I mean, there's not a lot to, you know, as you're practicing throughout the day and as you go through this 10 part series and you're learning the recall and you're learning leash walking and you're learning how to get the dog to stay put and all that stuff, that's when the dog is getting his food throughout the day. So it's really simple. But I also want to make sure that you understood a distinction because if you get your dog's training to rely on just food, you're going to run into a problem. And maybe you're already at that point, which is why you're watching these training videos. Because a lot of dog owners that I meet, the dog will do anything for a treat, but you take away the treats and it's gone. Um, because they treated it like a treat. It was something extra. And so, you know, the treat's gone, the dog says, nope, I don't feel like being obedient anymore. Now, when we use food as a resource rather than an added bonus or an added treat, and now the dog actually is living, um, is, is working for a living, um, it switches the dog's concept. Now, you don't have to do this forever. Because typically in our program, we do it for about the first month because it really makes this positive change, helps the dog understand things at a much deeper level, and then you can work away from it. Whereas if you're doing treat training, you're gonna be doing treat training forever. You're gonna be stuck with that because it was never attached to you as the owner, it was always attached to this little treat that you had in your, in your hand. And the dog said, yeah, I will do it based on this distinction here that you're holding a treat, if the treat's gone, forget it. Um, and like I say, that doesn't happen when you're doing a work for food program and you're doing a balanced approach to where we actually correct inappropriate behavior and we reward the good behavior with the dog's actual kibble or whatever his meals are. And so I want you to be aware of that, that that's a big distinction when you're looking for training programs and you're trying to figure out the best way to train your dog. If you're doing it based off of, um, like I say, uh, you know, all treats, you're gonna have a very low ceiling where you'll get a dog to be super obedient as long as there's no distractions, as long as nothing's going on, um, and as long as he feels like it. And so use food as a resource, don't use it as a treat. Now, don't misunderstand me here. You can use it as a treat, like if you like to give your dog a little bedtime treat, like here you go, snuffles, you know, here's, your, here's a treat before bed, that's totally fine. But in your training process, don't use food as a treat, use food as a resource, like you're working for this. Um, it's it's going to be so much more powerful for what you're doing. So, um, get to work. All right, dog owners, just to uh, kind of summarize here, the work for food program is a pain in the butt. It's no fun to keep your dog's food on you at all times and do the training like this. Uh, but it's usually for about four to six weeks. You don't have to do it forever, although some people do like to do it forever. But it makes such a difference in the training and such a difference in the relationship between you and your dog. So I'd recommend that you do it. And then if you haven't already, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down to the description section underneath the video, click the link. You're gonna get a free 10 day video training course on how I train dog owners all over the world to do just about anything. Well, not, not tricks and stuff, but as far as like obedience, solving aggression, working through leash pulling, not coming with calls, stuff like that. Go click that link, get the full 10-day um, training course, and we'll see you on the other train.